alaikum, namaste, khush amadeed. A very warm welcome to our program, Second Home India. Today we are celebrating the annual event of the Indian Doctors Forum. It's a cultural event, celebrating a journey from Kashmir to Kanyakumari. A cultural night where the doctors themselves have put in a lot of passion and productivity and created this beautiful evening. I'm very excited to take you all with me on this journey. Let me begin by thanking His Highness Sheikh Saba Al Hamad Al Jabbar Al Saba, the Amir of the State of Kuwait, for patronizing DocFest. Indian Doctors Forum, known as IDF, is a socio cultural organization of Indian doctors working in Kuwait, both in the government service and private sector. I extend my congratulations to the Indian Doctors Forum and I'm extremely delighted to declare IDF DocFest 2017 open. Thank you. We are very proud of all of you. In fact, when we talk of our community, their professionalism, integrity, and hard work, doctors stand out first. I consider the nurses as important, if not more important than doctors. I remember when I was minister, I increased the nurse's salary by 40%. I wish the Indian Doctor Forum all the success, and I promise that KMA will continue supporting the activities of this forum in all possible means. Thank you. Well, let, let me assure you that your train is making headway, and it's leaving a long-lasting leg legacy uh, behind it in Kuwait and elsewhere. The first copy to our ambassador, Sri Sunil Jain. Thanks, one and all. Enjoy the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, hold your belts and fasten your seat belts as we take you to an exciting and wonderful journey through incredible India. Thank you all once again and enjoy this breathtaking extravagance. We are talking to the President and the General Secretary of the Indian Doctors Forum, Dr. Patwari and Dr. Nayak. Welcome to our show, Doctors. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for inviting us. Doctor, could you tell us a little bit about the patronage, uh, India and Kuwait bonds? What do you think? How strong are they? I think the relationship between India and Kuwait goes more than 100 years back. Before oil was discovered in Kuwait, Kuwaiti traders used to come to India for trading pearls. And uh, Indians have been in Kuwait at least for more than 100 years. And I am told that in, until 1962, the Indian rupiah was the legal tender in Kuwait. So relationship goes back a long, long time. I have myself been in Kuwait for 23 years and experienced the friendship of the Kuwaiti people towards the Indian community. The Indian community is the fastest growing expatriate population in, the, in Kuwait. And I'm told by recent figures from the Indian Embassy and the state of Kuwait that we are exceeding one million expatriate Indians in Kuwait. And I think this itself shows the very strong liking that Kuwait people have towards the Indian community. That's so true, Doctor, and we are privileged to be here. 
Doctor, could you tell us a little bit about uh, the Indian Doctors Forum, your journey, you are the General Secretary and your journey within the forum? Uh, Indian Doctors Forum is there since uh, last 13 years doing, it, doing its socio-cultural activities. I am the proud member of Indian Doctors Forum. It has more than 500 members, it's its asset. We do health-related activities like health screening camps, then health seminars, talk to the consultant, then health quiz for the school children. Each health screening camps, we see more than 500 to 1,000 patients. The poor, needy patients get health care from the consultant doctors of Indian, Indian Doctors Forum. It's a huge help for the needy people, we feel. And as a part of our uh, family associated activities, we hold cultural mega show annually once, year, once in a year. And our important thing is health guide. This year's theme is cosmetic procedures. Every year one health guide is released for the common public in the lay people's language. Dr. Patwari, you must be very proud of what today has become. Uh, amazing, brilliant, grand show of all the cultures. We are standing in front of a big huge elephant here. Uh, today is the mega event of Indian Doctors Forum called DocFest Express 2017. We have just finished the official function and the cultural extravaganza is on, on show now. You can see the back, hear the background uh, sound <laughs> of, from this program. And it is a huge show staged by all members of the Indian Doctors Forum and their families who have toiled very hard for more than three months to stage this cultural extravaganza. And we are having such a great time here. Thank you so much, doctors, for talking to our viewers. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for giving us an opportunity to explain what Indian Doctors Forum and Indians are all about in relation to Kuwait. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. We are in conversation with Dr. Amir Ahmed. He's been the former president of IDF. And welcome to our show. Thank you. Doctor, tell us about the importance of the Indian Doctors Forum. Uh, why was it formed and do you think it has achieved the objectives? See, Indian Doctors Forum was formed uh, 13 years ago in 2004 with the objective of uh, helping foster and strengthen the relation between India and Kuwait, especially in the field of health. But through this forum, we have different aims and objectives. And one of our aims is to help promote and help advance Indian uh, culture in Kuwait. So today's dog fest that you saw is basically pro pro portraying Indian culture. We showed the different dance forms, in different states and there was a big Kuwaiti audience over here. We had nearly 50, 50 plus Kuwaiti um, members with their families over here and I believe this goes a long way in helping strengthen Indo-Kuwait relationship. Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for that. Um, our viewers are watching and they'd like to uh, get a health tip from you if you could do that. Health tip? Well, uh, do practice positive lifestyle. By positive lifestyle what I mean is Food, food should be balanced diet, a balanced diet, exercise daily, daily 45 minutes of walking, daily exercise, good sleep, no smoking, stress free. This wow, is this some is the great <laughs> trips, great trips. Thank you so much. You've heard the doctor. Stay healthy. Talking to Dr. Arun Narayan Swami. Welcome to our show, Doctor. Hello, good evening. It's, I'm very happy to be on your show tonight. Doctor, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Where do you work here in Kuwait? 
Uh, I'm a urologist and uh, I'm working as a consultant in Sabah Al Ahmad Urology Center. Do you like working in Kuwait? Well, uh, I'll answer your question in a different way. I'm here now for 15 years. Uh, I came initially with a with an idea of staying here one or two years and going back to India. Now I'm here after 15 years, so that I think would answer your question. It does. So you came here to stay for a year and uh, ended up staying 15 years. What was it about Kuwait that made you stay back? I think the whole environment here. Uh, I love working here. My workplace, uh, my uh, boss, Dr. Fauzi Abul, is, is very cooperative and my colleagues. And uh, I think we are a big family here. Our community and uh, well knit with the Kuwaiti uh, community uh, so it's been a wonderful interaction our viewers tonight would love to hear from you one health tip that you'd like to give them yeah the main thing I would like to tell everyone is prevention is always better than cure so for all diseases you know can be prevented by staying healthy having healthy habits eating healthy and I think that's better than you know going for a cure so stay healthy by Eating healthy. Eating and living uh, right. Great message. Remember, stay healthy by prevention. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Doctor. So I've spotted some very interesting uh, doctors here in the Indian Welcome to our show. Thank you. Thank you very much. Could you tell us uh, about uh, which state are you representing? Uh, we are representing Rajasthan, which is a northwestern state of India. Tell us a little bit about this instrument you're holding. What is it called? Uh, this is called as Iktara. Normally, it's a folk uh, musical instrument, which is not played in folk music. And uh, that's it. But it's a prop, so I cannot play it for you. Okay, I would have asked you to. Um, I love what you're wearing, your costume, your, the jewelry. Where did you get it from? Yeah, the jewelry, I got it from Kuwait itself. Wow. Uh, yeah, we can find it here, for sure. Oh, that's good. I mean, really, you, you, you got all these bangles and the right. thing from Kuwait, huh? Yeah, everything. <laughs> Great. It's traditional jewelry, but uh, I was able to find it here. And, and what are you going to do tonight on stage? We'll perform a Rajasthani group dance. And let's see how it goes. <laughs> we wish you the best. Thank you for talking to us. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you.
are in conversation with Dr. Parikh. I'm sure most of you know he's a very popular eye surgeon in Kuwait. Welcome to our show, Dr. Parikh. Thank you. Doctor, uh, you've written an article. Today there's a uh, health guide that's going to be released and an article is uh, written by you. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. I've written an article about the plastic surgery around the eye. That is called blepharoplasty or the making slightly older women looking slightly younger and more pretty. It's a cosmetic surgery. It's a very reasonably safe, but you have to choose the right cases and at the right time to operate. I have written an article in the magazine which is to, which is to be published today, to be distributed today. It's a very good surgery, very popular. Our waiting lists are becoming larger, longer and larger. Thank you. Uh, could you, do you like Kuwait? Oh, I'm here for 39 years in Kuwait. If I don't like it, I'll not be here. It's a wonderful country and it has given me everything what I can think of and desire. Most of the time when I go on holiday, I come back before time. And my director is very angry for, for me for this reason. Because he has to do a lot of paperwork. It's a wonderful country, very peaceful. People have been extremely good with me and I enjoy it. Thank you. Let's talk to this gorgeous looking doctor here, Dr. Pooja Chodankar. Welcome to our show, doctor. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be with you all. Could you tell us a little bit about this evening? I mean, it looks an absolutely grand evening with amazing props. Uh, tell us more about the preparation that went into making this. Well, it's been taking us two months to have...